Let us begin by creating the two tables that we're going to need. Our first table is called purchase order. And this is one line, one record per order. And we're pretty much just getting the order ID, the date it was ordered, and the customer. So let's create this first table. Create table purchase order. Execute. Notice that that was successful. Now on my second table, this is the detail lines. So here I get to get the item I'm buying, how many I'm buying it, and unit price. And then what we can do is times quantity times unit price, and that gives me my total line cost. So let's go ahead and create this table. Now that we have our tables created, our next item are these types. So when you come over to your Object Explorer and you say My Database, Programmability, Types, Table Types. So our first type is called Purchase Order Type. And it has pretty much all the columns that were in my table. Let's go ahead and create that. And then my second one is the Detail. And notice I pretty much have the same set of data as the table. So execute that. Now we have that, we are now ready to write the store procedure. In this store procedure, proc save shopping cart order, you can see I have two input parameters. One is master, and it is of type purchase order type. This is a type that we just designed a minute ago. And you have to declare that as read only. The second one is add details, and it is of type PO detail type. So here we're going to have our master detail. This is one to many. So there will only be one row in this. There could be one to many rows in this. So here you can see I have my little history tell you kind of like uh, what's going on. And here I'm going to declare PO order as a big int and I'm going to say select PO order from this purchase order type. So I'm going to get the purchase order value. Then notice here I say begin tran. And then I'm actually going to build the insert statement and the insert statement is going to go up against my table. Let's bring that table in so we can see that. So table, purchase order, and notice it's a real table. And all of these columns that you see here, they map to these. So purchase order is a real table. And then I'm going to say select, and these are the columns from my type, my purchase order type. And I'm going to take these, select that, and those will go into this insert statement. So this is how you do that. So insert and then say select from and then these values. This column maps with that column. This column maps with this column. And I'll just skip ahead. This column maps with that column. So it's a one to one. Now after I get this done, it is possible that we have some details. And notice here, I'm going to go up against my detail object. My detail object is of type PO data type. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just like the previous insert select, I'm going to select from this second object, but there could be more than one rows. So notice I'm just going to say get all this data from this table and it is going to, you know, just slide into this other object. PO table, where is that at? So notice columns and these are all the columns that I'll be using. And notice each of these columns here from PO detail lines, that's the name of my table. Each of these columns are in this table. Absolutely. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to say declare order total as decimal 10 to, and then I'm going to say select and I'm going to use the sum method and I'm going to say line total cost. So I'm just going to keep summing that up and then I'm just going to go into this variable called order total. And then I'm going to update purchase order, this first one, and I'm going to say set order total cost equals this value I just computed, where the 
PO order number equals that same value we got up here on line 17. And then I'm going to commit that. So begin tran, commit. And notice I have an insert, an insert, and an update. So step one before we call our store procedure, we have a user defined data type. It is called purchase order type. I am making a variable called at master of this type. And this type had six columns. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply these values for these columns. And this is going to be into a memory variable. Now, and when I finish executing, like when I like highlight these lines and say execute, notice it said complete down here. But what happens is it's also now out of memory. So I can't come over here and say select star from master. It's going to say, what? What's, what's in master? But if I come over here and say, you know, just populate that and then do print master, you know, select star from master. Notice we're going to get an output. So you see that? So these are just memory variables and their scope only stays al alive as long as I allow it to. Okay. So as soon as after, you know, I executing, they're gone. Now on our second one, notice that we are saying declare details as a user defined data type. And it has all these columns. So then what I wanted to do is this one has one to many rows inside of our order. We're setting up five rows, five individual items that I'm putting inside my shopping cart. And then I'm going to insert these into this details. Let me do one other little statement here and say, select a star from add details. Remember add details is a memory variable and it only stays alive inside of my scope. This right here from line 29 to 49, that's my scope right now. You know, it's, that's it. And notice that I went out and I was able to get those five rows and there it is. Now that whole thing is now gone. You know, it's not in memory no more. If I try to come execute this again, forget it. It's going to say, I don't know what that is. So, so it's gone. So I have to keep all that on my scope. Now I'm going to call that store procedure. You remember what master looked like. It was that one row detail had five rows. I'm now going to send that to that store procedure and that store procedure takes in two. What are these called? User defined data types. One is master. The other one is detail. Notice here I'm inserting the one into purchase order, the many into PO details, and then I'm going to go update the purchase order order total. So let's see this happen. Ready? I'm going to highlight it all from here to seven, ready to execute three, two, one. Now remember after we execute that store procedure, those values are stored in tables. They'll last forever. So remember when I do this on a memory variable, there's no data there, but when I do it on tables that are preserved, you know, I have that data. And that means that store procedure executed successfully. And there you have a team. You successfully know the user defined data type as much as anybody.